Today, I am making a full disclosure. I am not here to train your dog. Should people consider me a dog trainer? In general terms, I would say yes. Should you believe that my ultimate goal is to train your dog? I wouldn't say that it is. If anything, I will be training you to train your dog. Though, I'm not a big fan of the word train, as in my opinion, this word carries a connotation of overpowering authority. That is not the kind of relationship that I aspire to have with my dog, nor the one I would like you to have with yours. Instead, I want my dog to follow my signals in a collaborative way. We are a team here. I'm not playing solo. What's more, I've done my homework of knowing what motivates my dog to follow my signals, that these are clear for my dog to understand and that I interpret my dog's body language to that end. Hi there, I'm Izzy from IntelliPuppy.com, a free resource to watch, learn and share dog relevant advice. Thank you for watching our videos. If you find value in our content, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get notified when new videos are available. We want to hear from you, so please like, comment and share. I am not interested, and neither should you, in a blindly obedient dog that complies to my every command. Training a puppy, training a dog, is not just about teaching them how to sit, down, stay, wait, calm, etc. My aim is to help you have a better relationship, a stronger bond with your dog. I don't want for your dog to become a robot, nor you getting obsessed with a perfectly trained dog, because you know what? Such a thing simply does not exist. I am here to remind you to laugh at your dog's setbacks, to be reasonable about your expectations. And yes, you can teach an old dog new tricks, but it may take much longer than what you expect. Enjoy the process and do not obsess on the results. Yes, living with a dog may sometimes get messy. These are the moments when you need to go back to basics and ask yourself, did anyone get hurt? If the answer is no, be grateful and just clean up. I can assure you that you will laugh about it later on. The main goal of my work is to make complex science-based strategies and techniques widely available, fun and engaging for you to easily apply and for your dog to happily assimilate. I've done all the dull and tedious scientific research for you covering most topics that will arm you with what you'll need to kick off a healthy and productive relationship with your puppy. Though I'm fully confident about the validity and efficacy of what I teach, you shouldn't just take my word. I encourage you to be critical, compare and contrast information and techniques, and even seek second and third opinions. I often like to use the term digested science to describe what I aspire to do with my work, as I aim to bring down to earth the complexity behind scientific research. But even then, I still encourage you to follow your gut instinct when deciding whether you should trust this or that person. I believe my background, academic credentials and professional experience speaks volumes of my trustworthiness but you should always make your own personal decision on whose advice to follow, either consciously or unconsciously. I'm just here to help you shape your opinions and hopefully be of service and value. Quick science fact. Did you know that the so-called gut instinct is also considered to be a kind of um, second brain? Brain and gut are connected through the vagus nerve through neurotransmitters such as serotonin and to the immune system. So in many instances, following your gut instinct will lead you to the best outcomes. Sometimes knowing for a fact one thing can make all the difference. Getting fact-based and thoroughly researched advice on critical aspects, such as the right time to bring a puppy into your life, 
when to vaccinate your puppy, knowing the importance of a well-timed socialization, realizing how dogs perceive our world, understanding what's behind your dog's guilty look and along, etc., will bring you the joy of getting to see the world from your dog's perspective, leading to better communication and therefore allowing you to fully understand each other. I would love to contribute in bringing both species closer together with the aim of nourishing your relationships. Ultimately, it's all about achieving a more balanced life through a philosophy of mutual understanding. Only that in this case, those principles apply to the relationship between you and your canine companion. If you want to learn more about this topic or need further help, be sure to go to our website intellipuppy.com. Want to learn more about a topic we haven't covered? Please let me know in the comments and we'll include it in one of our future videos. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe, like, comment and share. See you in our next video.